the letter of Nostradamus predictions. But around after 2043, for 1000 years, you will all will be happy and joyful. <laughs> so, like, the foundation is already laid in India, and that is Nisha Is that right? You better stand up and work for it to make it happen. <laughs> Thousand years if people have to live happily, we have to lay a proper foundation, isn't it? If we really people have to live happily for one thousand years, is that your wish? Yes. yes at least for one thousand. <laughs> That's better. That's better now, you're getting better <laughs> Now if you want that to happen for next thousand years, what kind of foundation we must lay? really a solid foundation which cannot be disturbed with the process of life because the processes of life will anyway happen. People are born, people will die, people will go through injuries, people will go through disease, all these things will be happening, isn't it? Yes? Somebody that we think is everything to us is going to fall dead tomorrow, all these things will happen in our lives, isn't it? So if people have to be happy, they must learn to be happy beyond these things, otherwise there is no way to be happy. Because in everybody's life always this issue is there, your child goes out, anything may happen. We don't wish it, but it may happen, isn't it? And just the thought that it may happen can shatter you. It need not happen. Just the thought, my child has gone out, what could happen? That is enough. It need not really happen, isn't it? So, Nostradamus predictions, people are always predicting what happens after thousand years or ten thousand years because it's very easy to do that. <laughs> Can you predict what will happen in the next five minutes? You cannot do that. Shall I tell you what will happen after ten thousand years, are you interested? <laughs> I can give you graphic detail but the only thing is neither you will be here nor I will be here <laughs> so there will be no problem. People are becoming popular like this. Somebody predicts, hundred years later in Tamil Nadu there is going to be a huge flood. Do you know this? People are all excited, this man has predicted what will happen hundred years later. I tell them, let them predict what will happen in the next ten minutes. Why hundred years? Ten minutes later what's going to happen if you can predict? It's valuable to you. Hundred years later what's going to happen is of no value to you whether thousand or people are going to nineteen… you said two thousand forty-eight? I won't be here. I have decided on that. Most probably you also, you may be there <laughs> Many of us won't be here <laughs> So, these predictions are going on. It happened like this. Usually these predictions come true. You know why? Some time ago, I happened to be in Mangalore. You know Mangalore? Not Bangalore, Mangalore. There is a very old homeopathic doctor, I happened to know him for many years. So, he was very old, I thought I will visit him. Over eighty years of age but still sits in his clinic and does something. <clears throat> so, I just went to visit him. Not as a patient, I just gone to visit him. Then I just noticed there was a poster about advertising an antidote for all kinds of snakes, for snake bites, an antidote. It claimed that it works for all kinds of snakes. I looked at it and asked the doctor, Doctor, how is this possible? Why are you putting up this poster here? How can any antidote work for all kinds of snakes? Because if you know something about this, fundamentally, some snake venoms work on your cardiovascular system, some work on your nervous system. You need a different kind of antidote for them. How can it be possible that it works for all snakes? So the doctor said, see, ninety percent of the Indian snakes are non-poisonous. So ninety percent of the time it works. <laughs> That is a pretty good success rate. Ninety percent of the time it works. <laughs>